All right, so it's uh, Saturday, March 27th at about 6 p.m. Um, this battery here is a 10 amp hour e-bike kit, lithium iron phosphate. I've had this in my garage for about a week. Um, this is Moncton, New Brunswick. It is cold, there's still plenty of snow. And it was minus 12 last night, minus five Celsius right now. And uh, it's getting darker and the darker it gets, the colder it gets. So I'm gonna take this bike out and see how far I get with a really cold battery and I'm also going to try charging it out in the cold and uh, see what I get on our trusty cycle analyst. Right now we're at 40.2 volts, zero kilometers, zero kilometer per hour and I'm about to put on my helmet and my winter boots and drive this till it stops. So we'll see you then. All right, so I'm back. Um, let's check out the cycle analyst. It is cold, holy sweet Jesus. Um, so right now after having my first cut out I came back home and um, of course this system shuts down because the BMS trips so now I just unplug it plug it back in to uh, reset we're at 38.6 volts we went 8.1 amp hours and 15.7 kilometers now imagine it is cold it's minus well it's got to be minus 7 or minus 8 Celsius right now so the tire pressure is pretty low the tires hum on the pave um, I am freezing because I'm not pedaling, uh, trying to drain the battery as fast as I can. So even in this much cold, we're still getting 80% uh, capacity according to this. Now the meter might be slightly off because it's bone chilling cold. I'm not sure how that affects the accuracy of the uh, cycle analyst, but uh, nonetheless, um, it's still pretty good. We went 16 kilometers almost um, without pedaling and it's fairly windy on top of that. Um, so that's, all things considered, not so bad at all. Um, as soon as I got going, I could get the voltage to dip right down to 31, um, almost down to 30 volt at 25 amps, because this controller is a crystallite controller modified with the shunt soldered on a little bit. And uh, it's an easy motor, brushless geared motor, 500 watts, so it has no problem with a bit more amps. Um, incredible difference compared to lead acid on a hot sunny day with a 12 amp hour lead acid battery you'd be lucky to get six or seven amp hours of actual power out of them but with lithium a uh, 10 amp hour pack gave me eight amp hours and that's amazing considering how cold it is um, so that's it all right so now I took the pack off the bike and uh, yeah that's snow I'm not kidding you folks it's March 27th and we still have snow uh, welcome to the Maritimes. But anyway, um, we're letting this battery sit for probably oh half hour to an hour out in the cold. Drained. And I'm going to get the charger out here and plug it in. See how much of a charge I can get in. Uh, so I'll plug the charger in tonight. Wait for the green light. Disconnect the charger and tomorrow I'll go for another drive. And see how far I can get charging from a chilled down battery. Alright, so we're ready to charge. It's 7.30pm. Minus 7 Celsius. And uh, when I picked up the pack from my driveway, I actually broke the handle. It's so cold that the plastic just gave way. And it never happened when it's warm, but in this type of cold, stuff like that happens. Um, I check my polarity because I want to use a cycle analyst when I charge and see how much power goes in. It's not the same meter as I have on the bike, so my calibration is going to be different. Close enough for what I need to know. Uh, give us a general idea of how much power goes back in. Um, because the cycle analyst has Anderson's and the charge port on the battery has an RCA jack, I've made an adapter so I can plug it in and uh, monitor how much power goes in. So we're going to flip this up and plug in the charger. And put it down here. The light turns red and this is a a 2 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. It says 1.8 amps. And we're actually already at 43.3 volts charging, so the voltage goes real high. Um, but we're getting 80 watts in. Interesting. Normally the voltage would be much lower. So the cold weather is making a difference. 
and we'll see what she does. We'll come back and check it later on. Alright, so the pack's been charging for about, well, about two hours. Um, we're at 43.5 volts and 3.6 amp hours back in. We're charging at 56 watts. Now, what's happening is that because the pack is so cold, the voltage is going and rising higher than usual. And we've reached the limit of the charger, which is 43.4, 43.5 volts. And because of that, it's tapering current. And instead of charging at 1.8 amps, we're at 1.2 amps. Or 1.3, um, which would mean the pack will take a considerable amount of time um, to recharge. But uh, that's where we're at, 9.30 p.m.